Hi, it's Mimi Akigliguppi. Today I'm going to be reading this fantastic graphic novel and it's called The Flower Garden. The Flower Garden by Renee Carilla. Ring, ring. Hello? Can you come over? It's an emergency. Uh, sure. Meet me in the garden shed. I'll be right there. Click. Beautiful pictures. So she gets on her bike. Zoom, zoom. Hi. Hey, Anna, what's going on? I'm so glad you're here, Tess. Last night, I heard my mom talking about how bees are in trouble. We need to save them. Um, bees, like with stingers? Yes, bees. I'm kind of scared of bees. But without bees, there would be no blueberries. You love those, huh? We need to plant flowers so the bees have more food. Do we have to? Trust me, let's go. Look, Tiger's coming too. Tiger. Tiger is the cat. Here's a good spot. So they're digging, they're planting the seeds. Tiger's watching, pat, pat, pat. They water the seeds. Easy. How long does it take? I don't know. I think it takes a while. Ha! Huh. Sorry, Anna, but Tiger has a better plan. Tiger's plan is to take a nap. Wake me up when there are flowers. Yeah, good idea. Jump, pounce. Hiding behind the little garden, so the little seed sign. This is a little tiny garden fairy. Come on, little seeds. And the little garden fairy seems to be putting a little magic spell. Oh, something grew. Something grew. It worked. These pictures are just so colorful and happy. Um, Tess, wake up. They look so small compared to the size of the seed packet. And there's the little garden fairy. What kind of
kind of seeds were those? I don't know, but how did they grow so big so fast? Ack! I'm pretty sure we shrunk. How big the, the bumblebee is. Whoa, I want to go back to sleep. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Look, Tess. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's the bee in the pollen of the flower. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hmm, zip. Okay, that's actually really cool. Whoosh. The hummingbird, the dragonfly. Let's explore. Maybe we should find our way back home instead. Where's your sense of adventure? See the little garden fairy? Garden fairy. How big the watering can looks compared to their size. So what's the deal with this no blueberry thing? Well, you know how bees bring pollen from flower to flower? That makes more plants. Without bees, there wouldn't be any. It's all very oof. Thud. Scientific. She tripped. Oof. Here she is. On the ground. Ow! I scraped my hand. Are you okay? It really hurts. Anna, I think we need to go home right now. Wait! Who's saying wait? The speech bubble is coming from off of the page. It's, it's not Anna or Tess saying that. I think I can help you. Let me see your hand. How's that? Little fairy magic. It feels better, thank you. Hi, I'm May, like the month. It's short for Maple. I'm Anna, short for Annabelle, and this is Tess. And Tess says, hi. I don't think Tess is 100% sure about the whole situation. You look lost. Let me show you around. Annabelle says, I'm in. But Tess says, we really should be going. It's fine, Tess. Well, Tess doesn't look too sure. place is awesome. You think so? Um, yeah. We're used to flowers being a lot smaller. I have an idea.
Can you imagine sitting on the petal of a flower or on top of a mushroom, jumping from mushroom to mushroom? <laughs> that looks so fun. Let's make swings. Want to hitch a ride? Wait, I'm afraid of. Hitch a ride with this bird, maybe? Heights. Poor Tess is afraid of heights. Flying on the wings of a bird. Here's where I live. You live in a secret cave? Cool. Hey, Anna, doesn't this all seem a little weird to you? I want to go home. Tess, when do you ever get to see a gnome home? Yank, you're not listening to me today, and I'm sick of it. So another name for a garden fairy is gnome. This is the word gnome. It has a G in front of it, but the G is silent. We have to go home. I don't want to. Come on, Anna. No. Fine, fine. I'm staying out here. It's okay, we'll come back in a little while. That's what May said to Tess because Tess is not going in the gnome home. Oh, this is so cool. There's Tess waiting for them outside and this incredible gnome home under the ground in a cave. Oh, there's more.
Annabelle says, wow. And there are lots of other gnomes. Meet some of my friends. This is David. David says, hi. He's a gardener. Thanks, Tess would love this. Blueberries are her favorite. That's Lauren. She's our librarian. There's David the gardener. Lauren the librarian. How big the blueberries are. Because they're so small. Sophie, Omar. Where's that music coming from? Annabelle gasps because there is a giant mouse wearing a yellow sweater playing the guitar and gnomes dancing to the music. How fabulous is that? Seriously, how is Tess not here to see this stuff? Should we go back and get her now? In a minute, this song is too good. It is good. Tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Annabelle's dancing. More dancing. May. Why does it seem like everyone is looking at me funny? You're just imagining things. Get a close up of those other gnomes. What do you think? Are all the other gnomes looking at Annabelle funny? It doesn't really feel like I'm imagining things. Sorry, May, I'll be right back. I need to get tests. She's looking for Tess, that's why there's a question mark over her head. She's thinking, where is Tess? But which way did we come in? I think Annabelle's a little lost. Should I ask for directions? I guess this is kind of familiar. Looks like the hedgehog got spooked and curled up and hissed. Poor Annabelle. 
the poor hedgehog. Whoa! Oof! This is definitely not the right way. Awesome. Huff, huff. Tess! Eck! Ah! Where am I? Shuffle, shuffle, swipe, whoosh! Tiger? Doink. It's Tiger putting putting a paw on Annabelle's hat. Oh, another nice picture. Up. Annabelle looks like she might be a normal size again. Look, Anna, this says it takes two weeks for the seeds to sprout, but there's a flower here. Ha! Wiggle, wiggle, waggle. That's not so scary. I need to tell you about the dream I just had, but maybe first we can do something you want to do. Well, I am kind of hungry. Hungry for adventure? Just kidding. Sort of. Hey, does your mom have any blueberries? The end. What a fun book. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this book, The Flower Garden. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next time for another book to make you smile.